Hey guys, it's eventually Hyper here. And eventually I. Okay, so uh, I was previously Flaming Ice Cave and eventually I. He was Tigor. So, uh, and we recently got premium accounts, so that's why we both have different names and different skins now. Okay, so uh, Max, tell them what we're doing today. Okay, so guys, today we're going to be showing you how to build an unreadable vault for servers. And we have one on Climax Craft. We're going to leave the IP in the, in the com in like comments area. So it's literally unreadable. And we're going to show you how to build this. And all you need is Tidian, water, pressure plates, chest, wooden doors, and some glowstone. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to build like a relatively, it's kind of big. It's so 11 it's, by 11. Make, it, you can make yeah. it as big as you want, but for now we're going to make one 11 by 11. Okay, so Sam, if you have to fill the floor. Okay. Oops. Okay, so guys. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, we built this, we built this vault on a server called Climax Craft. Um, and uh, it's because on this server, you can destroy what are you doing oh because okay i get it yeah i'm just on yeah, this I'm server okay, on this guys, server one people second. one sec one sec on this server you it can make it what it's 11 by 12 it's 11 by 12. okay okay 11 by 12. 11 long or 12 long 12 long Eleven wide. okay you can continue what you were saying yeah, uh, on the server that we play on, Climax Craft, uh, the server has a plugin where you, where uh, Obsidian can be destroyed with four TNT, uh, and so uh, like normally Obsidian is you can't destroy it with TNT, you can only destroy it with a pickaxe. But on this server, they have a plugin where you can use four TNT to destroy it, so people can read your can read your stuff. But if you place so if you place what if you one sec if you place water around it, then if TNT doesn't blow up, even like it doesn't even blow up cobblestone if there's water around it. So, but still, okay, continue. Yes. So, uh, what we did, we just put a four block high wall, and we're actually gonna make a ceiling now. So, look, uh, we can... don't make a ceiling. It's just an. Uh... Okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, we'll just keep the ceiling so we can see what we're doing. Yeah. You can close it up when you're done. Okay, so some make it daylight so we can see what's going on. Okay, so if it's three blocks high, then you know what to do. You just put the ceiling on the fourth. Okay, make okay, the so door. Now, make the doors first. Yeah, on the twelve, on the you can choose a side. Actually, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I'll choose twelve on the twelve long side over here. I already made the door. I already made the door. You made the door. Yeah. On the on the eleven side. Yep. It's better. Okay, so does look. It doesn't matter if you do it on the eleven side. It's over here. If it depends, here, it depends what see. size you're even doing it. We're just going to do it. Eventually. Yeah, so as some if you come over here, you can see where I didn't put the pressure plates, those two blocks. You can do the door here as well. Okay, so now for the important parts, you're going to come down here. Okay, so the best thing about this is like we thought about the design. So uh, um, you're going to leave a block and then you're going to place the, the, the double chest. And, and then you're going to leave another block and place pressure plates. Can you see how it's done? Yeah. Okay. So the thing, the thing about this is that water will be all around it, so it's impossible to blow up the chests on, on servers where that's allowed, and you take the stuff. So if like, okay, so then I'm just going to continue doing what I did on the side, just going to place more chests. Okay. So essentially for the 11 by 12, you can get, uh, you can get, uh, one, two, three, four, five, you can get six double chests. Um, yeah, but yeah. Uh, in, in our vault, we have two floors, so. Okay, so that's how. So yeah. all you need to do now is you need to place pressure plates one block away from all the chests. Yeah. So if you guys if you guys are going to make it wider, then uh, it depends how wide you do it. So, for example, it, like, it just has to be one block between the pressure plate and one block between the pressure plate and the chest, and one block between the chest and the wall. And one block between each chest. The chests can't be uh, stuck to each other. 
Okay. So what we're gonna do now is from the third uh, block, we're gonna place water. That looks and really then. wrong from the top. Those pressure plates look really, really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you get okay, what I'm so, saying. So on the back row, you place water. Yeah. On the back row of all. Of from the, all this row. Yeah. That's why you need a lot of buckets of water. Okay. And then you can that basically you know like does the job, but you can go around like filling these parts and stuff. And if you have a ceiling, it would it would look different because then you can fill up the second row. So then it would look even, but you know, looks kind of cool now. And it's, it's not about how it looks; it's about keeping your stuff safe. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that so then now you know if you cover it up, you can you, know, you can always play with it. You can just play. Hey, you can do whatever you want. Here. Yeah, you can like place some blows on it. The most important thing is that the chests always have one block at the back, one block in front where there's water, so no one can blow them up. Okay, so I just placed some simple glowstone over here, making sure that there's a, 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 one space around each where the water is reaching. If you look, this is how it looks from on top. Okay, so then if we cover it up, so like if we pretend that, I'm just going to do like part of it, so like if you pretend that this is your ceiling, like Sam, if you look from on top, where I place the blocks, just pretend that that's your ceiling, you know, you just cover it up like that. Okay, let's just cover it up, I'll have to cover it up. Yeah, I'm covering it up. Okay, so, uh, you guys, if you want to join Climaxcraft, we're going to have the um, faction, the, what's it called, the server uh, IP in the description. And the server is actually really good because yeah, they sell spawners at the shop. They sell all kinds of spawners, uh, except ghast spawners. The only spawners they don't sell are ghasts. And therefore, to buy ghast tiers, it's really expensive because you to make s specific potions you need ghast tiers. I think invisibility potion uses ghast tiers, do they? No, no, it's not invisibility. Which one? It's a uh, um. Uh I can't remember, I think it's strength too. Okay, anyway, can't so you? yeah, and uh, that's the best thing because they sell spawners at the shop, but they're kind of expensive. Like, I, it's expected that they'd be expensive. Okay, so. guys, so the important thing about this tutorial is that uh, the floor and the sides of the chests are, uh, are obby. You know, the roof, mm, it's not really important, but. Uh, we prefer it would be more safe if it was uh, if it was obsidian. Okay, so now when you place doors, you know you can put some uh, put stairs to make it easier. Get out of the way! Up. Get out of the way! Okay, so now for the final part. Okay, so again, where are you? You need to go one. I'm over here. You need to go one block around the whole thing you built. The entire thing, apart so apart from uh, the entrance, because you're gonna place there. So just make that two blocks away, and then you're gonna go all the way around. So the bigger you make this, the more buckets you're gonna need. Yep. Okay, so now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the top. Now, top over here. Look. To the right in the middle, and I'm gonna place a row over here, a row down the middle here, and another row here. So you basically place it all around from the top, from the sides, no, everywhere. No. Like I place it to in. What the hell? Happened? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I know what the problem was. <laughs> Okay, wait, I know what to do. Okay, you guys, just ignore this part. I'll tell you what the problem is, guys. Look, the problem is when you place water and it goes down the side, it tends to go uh, two blocks away when using pressure plates. But if you use a block, it doesn't do that. It, uh, I don't know, water behaves in a very weird Water way. is weird. It's weird. It's it's unpredictable. Yeah, huh? it, it, it's very weird. So, like, all I did. Okay, never mind. Just, just pretend that did not happen. Just placing, we're just placing obsidian where the water was. Yeah, it's gonna, okay, so it's gonna, gonna go away. 
So now we're going to take obsidian off. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so continue what and you're it doing. It depends, you know. Uh, it depends on the server, because like on our server, we only need to do it one away. But uh, uh, it depends where you are. So maybe because we don't have a plug in here or something. Okay, show show them how to do it. Show them how to do it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna show that, show you guys how to do like. Uh, okay. So do I just okay? Let me show them. Do I just place water buckets on every row on top? No, no, no. Wait, wait. Don't place water buckets anywhere. Just come here. I'm gonna show you what to do because there's a problem with it. We don't have a plug in here like plant. What plug? In? Okay. So just come to this part. What plug in? Come here. Water, water. Okay. So if you come over here, look. Um, it's one o'clock. Yeah, it's one o'clock. Um, Okay, so look, place water on the sides here. Done. Done. Yeah, I'm here. See, needs to be, needs to be two block. It needs to be two away. So if you guys want to show you, I'll just put them back. Okay, so and, make okay. it instead of one block away, two blocks away. Look, guys, it depends on the server. And like our server, every server depends on its rules. So to be safe, just make it two away. Yeah. To be safe. Better safe than sorry. And that's the bottom line. A stone cold set so. But what about this part? Okay, guys, so we made it too wide, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, so just now do I just place water. the buckets all around? Uh, uh, all around. Just place water uh, everywhere. Uh, uh, all around. Uh, like so much water. And don't forget to do the top as well. So they can't blow it from on top. Whee! Oh, I really want to swim now. All right, so some of you go far away and show them how it looks like. Okay, wait, let me just feel like there's something wrong here. Okay, if the water's not even, never mind. I just like stuff. No, to no, no, nice. on, the, on the corners, it will always be like that. And the, if it does that, then it's right. If it does that weird pile and shape, then it's right. Okay, so, so this, this is this how is it's going to look like. It's just yeah, it's basically yeah. going to look like an underwater base, a mini underwater base. And yeah, like, this is virtually so. unreadable. Okay, let me explain why. First of all, they can't blow blow it from the outside. So if they somehow manage to glitch in through the doors, which they can't, because they're going to be closed and they can't enter through the doors, if they manage to do that, then they get inside. Then the only thing they can do is put creeper eggs because they can't place the interior territory. If they do that, they can only blow up the pressure plates, which will, which then these two will lead to uh, even water. So okay, wait, then I'll, show them, I'll show them. Harder. I'll show them. Yeah, just place a creeper egg. Okay, he is a creeper. Spawn the creeper. Oh, it's on peaceful. Wait. It's on peaceful? Yeah, okay, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay. So then, even if they put a place creeper, they can blow up. The only thing they can do is blow up the pressure plates, but they can't reach the chest. They will just be like swimming around and dying and stuff. So, oh my god, difficulty easy. No, oh, easy. Yeah. Okay, so okay, let's... so you had the creepers. Look, three creepers. Look, even if they explode, what happened? All three of them blew up, and nothing happened to the chests. All you gotta do is replace the pressure plates and you're good to go. Thank you anyway, for watching this, this video. This has been us showing you guys how to... Creepers everywhere. Wait. Creepers everywhere. In this video we uh -huh. were showing you how... It's, shut up! In this video we were showing you how to build a vault for your servers. And it's, it's pretty simple. But it's it needs a lot of like stuff to buy. Obsidian especially. Because Obsidian is expensive on servers. Then you, you made it peaceful. And anyway, so...
hope you like this video so watch our other videos subscribe to our channel comment leave any anything you want us to do for our next videos and yeah so this has been eventually hyper and eventually i see you next time three two one eventually end game thanks for watching Sound.